Welcome to a new video from the parts channel, well, I'm going to make a short video, but I find it very interesting, answering a question that you have left me, how to know if the PCV valve of your car's engine is open because it is damaged, or it is closed because it is obstructed. Well, normally, when they stay open, they are usually valves that have a membrane, they have a membrane like the one you see there in the photo, and the membrane tends to crack from so much movement from opening and close, because that rubber, which has the membrane, ends up cracking, and then it would remain open, there what you would observe, would be, that there is an excess of oil in the air intake, in the entire intake, okay? And that every so often it consumes engine oil. You will also detect blue smoke from the exhaust, that engine oil, through the intake, is reaching the combustion chamber and is burning, then, suction is also observed oil dipstick, and fill plug oily that, above all, is seen in gasoline vehicles, and conversely, if the valve fails and stays closed, normally, it is usually because it is clogged, in most cases it is difficult to clean them, and they would also have to be changed. Just like when they remain open, but when they remain closed, there you will realize that there is excess pressure in the engine, excess pressure and smoke comes out of the oil filler cap. Also through the oil dipstick, there you see that there is also a problem of oil loss, because of the joints, both of the rocker cover or valve cover, as you can also see by the crankcase gasket, which is what is known as crankcase inflation. And it is due to the pressure in the crankcase, precisely, because the engine cannot release that pressure. Because the PCV valve is closed, or obstructed, and then, the pressure tends to come out where it can, always through the most fragile, and be careful, because this usually damages the seal of the crankshaft. And you already know that there, you have to disassemble the gearbox to change it, and then, also, this can cause damage to the turbo, because the oil that lubricates the turbo has to be in continuous movement, and if there is excess pressure in the crankcase, it cannot flow well in. And then, the turbo, since the turbine shaft does not have that lubrication, well it ends up breaking. Okay? That's why you always have to be very careful with these things, well, here I leave you. This short video, if it has been useful to you, then do not forget to give a like and subscribe to the channel.